Hello world, my name is Lily and this is Deliberate Video, where business doesn't have to be boring. I don't know if you've heard of rumble.com, but it's a video platform very similar to YouTube that's growing in popularity, but there's hardly any tutorials on how to use it. So I decided I'm gonna make you some. So this video is the first in a series and this series is going to be powered by your questions. So at this point, you're probably thinking, Lily, what questions could I possibly have about this rumble.com? you keep talking about. When you go onto it, you expect it to kind of work like YouTube does, but then you try to do stuff and you realize that it's not quite the same. For example, you don't like videos, you give them pluses and minuses, which are called rumbles. Monetization doesn't work the same as YouTube. And the thing that intrigues me most about this platform is just the fact that every niche is so underserved. So on YouTube, if you want to learn how to knit, you just search how to knit and all these great videos will come up. But on Rumble, it's a different story. What you get here are fewer videos of lower quality. Well, this one has almost 4 million views. That's kind of an anomaly. But if we look at all the other ones here, it's like they've got 33 views, 8 views, 5 views. The view count is so small. Rumble is largely used by people who are getting banned from YouTube for talking about political beliefs that YouTube does not agree with. And so you'll see a lot of that on Rumble. But then at the same time, People who are making Rumble accounts don't only want to watch the news. I think that Rumble is for people who want to move away from YouTube just because of the fact that they're abusing their power in a lot of ways. So if some of us who no longer want to use YouTube or would like to start migrating away from it can come onto Rumble and offer some good content, I think audiences are going to pick that up really quickly because obviously there's a lack of great stuff. In my eyes, it looks like there's nowhere to go but up. On YouTube, you can totally still make it big. Like it's not impossible, but there is a lot of competition. But on Rumble, there's very little competition. And so getting to the front of your niche could be easier. But like I said, there's a lot to figure out about this platform. If you're not watching this on the Deliberate Video YouTube channel, go ahead and make your way there and leave a comment with any question about Rumble that you have. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just start experimenting with it and report back with my answers. So if you specifically leave a comment, I'd be happy to specifically answer it in a video. I'll be answering simple questions like how do I upload a video? What kind of account should I make? Which licensing option should I use for my video? How do you add captions? What kind of music do they allow? And I specifically want to answer these questions for business owners. I know that a lot of local businesses rely on social media to get the word out about what they're doing, and some of the bigger platforms have become very inhospitable. So if you've heard of Rumble, you're probably someone who is already considering moving on to it. I'm excited about the platform because there's hardly any content, but there's a whole lot of viewers. So no matter what it is you do, there's probably a place for you on Rumble and it's very likely that no one else is doing what you're doing. So I've got to mention this because if you don't already have a Rumble account, you're probably about to sign up because of me. Rumble has a referral program. When you're signing up manually, meaning you don't use the shortcut to sign up with Facebook or Google or anything like that, it'll let you put in the username of the person who referred you and then it sort of connects us. According to Rumble's blog, I will get 5% of any earnings that you make, but it doesn't come out of your pocket. It comes out of rumbles and so it's like I just get a tiny sliver of what they receive. That's what it looks like. My username is deliberate video, no caps, no spaces, no underscores. I'm mainly curious to see what happens. So I'm gonna go start experimenting. Subscribe if you want to. Man.